Hi, this is Rob Price, the superintendent of Onondaga Central School District. I'm bringing you part two of part five of the capital project presentation. Um, and we're going to talk about the financial slides um, that have been presented throughout the community. The first slide we're going to talk about is the summary of the current debt service. And this is provided to us um, by fiscal advisors. Um, the retiring debt, we're looking at 2018-19, reducing debt by oh, just over $200,000. And then we'll see another um, piece of debt retiring in 23-24, um, reducing debt by just over a million dollars. And then in 27-28, we're going to be reducing debt by just over eight hundred thousand dollars so um, why is this important when we look at the years uh, 2018 2019 and the proposed capital project um, we'll be having this debt retire just at the same time as we're taking on other debt and within those debt projections um, we're looking at just a little bit less in debt so we're not going to be asking the community for any additional money um, we're going to be asking the community to help us maintain our con uh, building conditions um, and uh, the facilities by going out um, with a no impact on um, taxes. Here's a breakdown of the um, estimated building aid and the summary of the debt service. And you can see in there in key different um, areas um, where the debt surface changes and um, the impact over the um, life of the debt and the bonding. The proposed capital project financial assumptions in from uh, 2021 through 2034. With a positive uh, voter approval in March of 2017, we will look at um, SED approval in early 2018. Um, and uh, then we'll look at uh, district savings used for the financial pieces for the preliminary costs. In order for the district to go out and uh, um, seek a bond and get approval, is we also have to have um, money available through our um, savings and fund balance of $1.2 million. And then um, the bond anticipation notes, just so you know, the community knows um, what's coming up in the future with the positive vote. Um, you'll see the July um, 2018 and July 2019 with um, the bond anticipation notes of just over 4.3 million. And then the serial bond issued in June of 2020 and then matures um, between uh, June 15th, 2021 through uh, 2034. When we look at what we're going to be um, included in this serial bond, we're going to, you know, we have shared with you the interest of just over a million dollars, the estimated state aid on the entire project, the debt service um, over the whole cost of the bond, the net energy savings, which we'll talk more about when we talk about the uh, energy performance in another part of the um, video series, and the net services. Um, and what those expenses are built into um, the financials of just over $200,000 and the net estimated local share um, of 400, just over $400,000, which is a negative. So it, um, which is a, this negative is a positive for us in terms of um, not costing the district more money. And the net average um, from 2019 to 2034 um, of just over 20, um, seven thousand dollars and then you'll see um and the last bullet is what we talk about is the net local share on a full value of a hundred thousand dollars for the um of your home um, and that is a negative eight cents impact on um, what it would be on our a full assessed value of a home and here's just a breakdown of that um those bulleted items before in more detail um, that you can see and also see um, an electronic copy on our uh, capital project um, uh, web page located at, um, on the school website. Part one, we talked about why is this important and why now. Um, this is another piece I'd just like to reiterate is the, the state aid um, building aid ratio right now for Onondaga Central is 82.8%. Um, like I said in the first presentation, we had talked about if we don't um, capitalize on the state aid and the money that the state will give us, um, another district will um, uh, be able to capitalize on the use of that money. Um, we're looking at the maximum cost allowance and the financial impact um, on all aid worthy work. The state will reimburse the district um, 82.8 cents on a dollar.
So for every dollar we spend, we're going to get 82.8 cents back on that. Um, and if we don't do this project now, um, we could end up doing the work through regular maintenance budget, and we may not get state aid um, on that when we submit that back to state. So within the final um, uh, plans within the project and the submission to state ed, they will approve this, and then we'll have the guaranteed um, state aid ratio uh, pending voter approval and then um, state ed approval. Conservatively, we've um, uh, budgeted uh, the project at 95%. 95% of the total work um, is aidable, meaning that we will um, get aid on every dollar spent for um, at least 95% of the project. This concludes the financial slides um, in the end of part two of five on the finances. I thank you for listening to me and you have a good day.